2012 Dodge Journey. Customer complaint of the uh, lost power steering twice. Um, I personally have not been able to replicate it. I took it for a couple test drives. Power steering pump looks great, no leaks, plenty of fluid. I didn't see any leaks down below. I did see a couple other issues, which we're gonna dive to in a second, but they still want power steering pump in place. So I got us one and uh, we're gonna put it on. First thing we're gonna need to do is come down here and remove this tire and remove the, uh, the wheel well, which is already removed. And once we get this tire off, I'll show you what's up. All right, so first thing I spotted was this plastic shield kind of came loose. Oh, there. It's supposed to be up here, but instead it was completely, it was zip tied like that too. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking someone literally legitimately just did that. I'm gonna get it cut off. Cause that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, so, one thing that was talked about was how the serpentine belt was replaced and this oil pan gasket was replaced, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's still leaking. And then they said they replaced that seal right here, which I don't know. I don't know if that's seepage or whatnot. So we'll, we're gonna ignore that. Okay, so let's get that belt off. And then I gotta come in here and remove remove that bolt to give this some play. And I, I really think that's it. And then we can move on to the getting off the power steering pump. And that's a 13 millimeter.
Yep, like I said, that gives you the play that you need to move that wire. Hose. So that's my setup right here. I got a oil filter remover, tying up both hoses, and that just drips straight into there, so it stays out of my way. Now, coming down on the front of this, I'm seeing two bolts in there. Yep, two bolts. We'll go ahead and I'll take you down in there, show you. So one, two, oh, three. There's three bolts. Okay, so the new one goes just like just like that. Uh, looks like we're gonna be taking off this and installing it onto the new one right there. Okay, so it's just one, two, and yeah, it's just the three. Tip that upside down just yet. I'm gonna just drain it. Because you get a core charge on this, so. That's a 10 millimeter. There we go. Like I said, keep that. that out, plug that up. I'm gonna do the same with this front one. There we go, I can get rid of it. All right, let's go back up here. Let's add a brand new gasket to it. And the new one comes with new gaskets, by the way. I didn't have to buy it, a separate gasket kit. Let's rip this off. It is install time. Now, uh, if you are setting this up and you're having difficulties, uh, there's this little metal ring right here. Uh, you can just take a, take a hammer and pound it out to give yourself more room. And whenever you place in the, the bolt and everything, it will pull it back in. So just, just get your heads up if that is an issue that you're having. Don't, don't fear, just and don't get stressed out. I really shouldn't have any problems, so I'll just, Put that there. And we know the top right is a little shorty. We start it by hand so you don't cross thread it.
I did not tighten that up all the way. Now we know this bottom left hand corner is also a shorty. And the bottom one is the big long one, which in theory should line right up since those other two did. Beautiful. Start off with this hose. There. Now you're going to firmly seat it. I like to I like to wop. I like to wiggle it in a little bit. 18 millimeter. You don't gotta go crazy with that one. And I doubt you can see it, but I'm going to put that bolt that holds that line in over there. Now put in that leaky one. Okay. And that's it. Now I'm gonna put the belt back on, which I cannot show you because it's close to impossible. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that back together and we'll come up and we'll bleed the air out and. Hopefully she has no more problems. All right, so we got the power steering pump replaced and the, uh, the belt put back on. We're gonna have to have a belt later on down the road, but I did not want to slap one on right now because I want to know if this is still her problem because all the other tensioners felt fine too. So once this belt's on, now with the cap off, we're gonna fill it up with fluid and then start it and rotate the wheels back and forth so all the air bubbles come out and then you're all done if i come back then we have a problem and i'll show you how to fix it if there's any leaks but if i don't come back that's it thanks for watching hope this video helped like subscribe and buy some merch see you guys next time